Hey friends, so um, I've been posting a lot to TikTok lately, so um, you can find me on there. Uh, it's just an easier platform for me to, to sort of deal with, but, um, and it has like the built-in video thing. Either, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm still gonna be posting on this channel. I'm a bit tired today. Um, I had a really rough night last night. I was, I couldn't get comfortable at all. And um, that's even with the huge amounts of sort of drugs and things like that um, and getting up and doing my exercises and what have. Excuse me. I have definitely discovered that every time I make a video, I just start yawning. Uh, yeah. So like I, I have really bad anxiety, like legitimate anxiety. I hate when people are like, oh, I'm so anxious. And they, they don't take meds. They don't go to therapy. You don't have anxiety. Um, I literally have a panic disorder and, um, and CPTSD. So like I have some issues. And so last night I just started feeling weird, you know, panic shows up in the body weird. Your brain makes you think that you're like fixing to die. And, uh, with all the pain, like, cause the pain right now is, is, drastically different than the pain that I was in sort of before. Um, plus there's like this weird feeling in my body because I have sort of all these new parts. And um, the way I can describe that is like, if you've ever, not that you would ever do this, but if you've ever seen like a ball bearing that's been greased, right? Or if you took like a marble and put it in oil and then tried to pick it up, um, that's essentially what the ball joint is in my hip right now. So if I try to put my knees up, right, my left knee will just do this, like, like fast, like, because there's no, my body hasn't adjusted to growing stuff in there yet to stop it from just being a, a greased ball bearing. Um, so it's just like a weird physical feeling. So the pain is definitely different. I have been doing exactly what my PTs uh, and my doctor has told me to do. I get up every damn hour um, and I walk for about five minutes. I was told to start increasing that time. So today, literally gonna do six minutes, um, doing my exercises. I do my laying down exercises twice a day though, because I only go up and down those stairs twice a day. So down in the morning, up at night, and that's it. The rest of the time I'm not laying down. There's nowhere to lay down uh, necessarily here. That's very comfortable downstairs. So, um, but I started doing the standing exercises. The first day of that, that was super painful. because it because it was a weird pain and i guess what, from what i'm reading and stuff is that um it's because my body has compensated for so long not being able to use my hip the way it's intended that um, a lot of those muscles have not been used for a while plus um you know they did rip open my thigh and take drills and saws and cut out my bone and remove it and then sand down the ball joint. So there's a lot going on in there. Um, but yeah, last night I got really panicky. I had to wake up the wife. I was just like, I, my advice to you is if you do have anxiety and you know, you have someone in your life that you can trust with that, <clears throat> um, that doesn't sort of judge you or get weird about because people are like, Oh, what set you off? Nothing. I have a panic disorder. Something set me off a long time ago. And now my body responds as if there's a lion in the room every single time. So it's, it is what it is. I know people are trying to be nice, but I don't know. Anyway. So I woke her up and I was just like, I am not feeling well. And I need you to just sort of check me and sort of make sure I'm not actually having something wrong and sort of so she did she got up it must have been like 11 30 12 o'clock at night 
She got up, she checked my legs, made sure they weren't warm. I wasn't having like a blood clot. I wasn't, uh, she checked my temperature. Um, Cause I told her, I was like, I keep having like these sweats. And, but that could also, you know, now in the morning, that could be the fact that I am now taking Oxy every six hours as opposed to every four hours. And you know, my body is going through some withdrawal. Um, or it could be that it was hot in here. It could be anything. It could have been absolutely nothing. It could be that I'm 43 and my hormones decided to do a thing. Um, so anyway, after that, she sort of talked me down and I, I finally fell asleep. But it was getting to sleep that was really rough. Um, I'm not a side sleeper. I'm usually a back sleeper. That first night was really good, like in bed, just passed right out. And then after that, it kind of just starts getting uncomfortable. I don't know. But I wanted to tell you about, like, how I'm going to keep busy today. Um, I did a little ticky talk uh, about how I plan on sort of keeping busy today. So one of the things I do when people are always like, oh, you always get so much done. You have so much motivation. Absolutely not. I have a, I have a list. I have a list that I do all the time. Because I'm literally just a human being. And I would sooner be on social media or on YouTube or reading or staring at the dogs or whatever. I would rather be doing anything other than the things in life that are required. So I'm sorry I keep yawning. I don't I really think it's just me doing this video. I think yawning also is a response one if you're I am also not a doctor or a scientist, so this might be a myth that like your brain is tired and you need extra oxygen. Do some people yawn when they're nervous? I'm like my nerves are acting up. It doesn't matter. Anyway, back to the habit tracker. So I read that book, Atomic Habits. If you haven't read that, um, it's a really good read. It's a good read if you want to sort of develop strong habits. If you want to develop something to sort of change the trajectory. It's not going to, it, it may change your life. I don't know. Like, but I don't, it, I don't think anything is that drastic. I don't, I don't want it to sound like it's a huge plug, but I got the idea from that book. So Atomic Habits, he does have habit trackers on his uh, website. His name is James Clear. Um, I didn't really like them. So I went on Canva, made my own. You can also just put in habit tracker. Um, you can put in like monthly, weekly, you'll get a PDF of something. Um, but I went on Canva and made mine and I purposely sort of shrunk it. This is specifically my habit tracker for, um, 320 to 420. So basically I gave myself five days to sort of chill out after surgery to get my pain meds sort of situated. Um, and then I knew my PT told me, my doctor told me, they were like, you need to keep busy because you need to keep your mind off of this weirdness um, that's happening in your body and also the pain um, just to keep yourself sort of whatever. So I shortened my habit tracker to eight things. So uh, essentially eight hours, because usually my habit tracker has a lot more and it, none of those things always require like a huge amount of time, but I purposely did things like made things 30 minutes. So I had to sit and do things for 30 minutes. So one of them was literally uh, like video edits and videos, 30 minutes. So, so far I've done a, a TikTok. I've done some green sh screening stuff on there. I'm doing this video. So then I will literally take a Sharpie and fill out the little bubble. Um, then I'm going to get up. I'm going to walk for my six minutes. I'm going to do like one of my standing exercises, uh, grab a cup of coffee and sit down. And then next hour or so when I have to get up and do something, I'll pick something else off the list. So there's new, there's different things on this list that uh, it varies and it can be whatever you want. So like I am trying to um, learn more, I guess sort of like Castilian Spanish or not even that, or Latin American Spanish. I'm Puerto Rican. So our Spanish is super Americanized and does not translate well 
to other countries sometimes. Um, so like on here, I have Spanish workbook. I have like a, a Spanish frequency uh, vocab workbook and it says 30 minutes. So at some point I will sit, come back, sit at, at the table, do 30 minutes of that, check it off, get up, walk back and forth, do another exercise, possibly grab another cup of coffee because I, I am addicted. Um, check what time I have to take my meds, things like that. Um, because my wife is home, but she's working from home. So she does have half hour breaks in between each one of her clients um, to check on me and make sure I have sort of everything I need. <sighs> Guys, I'm so sorry. I said last night was rough. I probably didn't get to bed until about midnight and I still woke up at like six because I can't, I really can't sleep later than 6.30, 7 o'clock in general. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'll be doing today. There's eight things on there. I figured that gets me through the majority of the work day uh, for my wife and the more majority of the work day that I would normally be doing. Um, but I clearly cannot work because I can't sit for long periods of time. Um, and these 30 minute increments may change because I may find that 30 minutes sitting in this position may be too much. So I have to be able to adjust it and I can. Um, but yeah, find yourself a habit tracker. Um, it's a really cool thing to sort of keep you uh, on point for doing stuff. And it could be for anything. If, if you want to learn how to play an instrument, I have harmonica on there, harmonica for 30 minutes, because uh, I'm trying to learn how to play the harmonica. <laughs> and, um, you know, that requires that I watch YouTube and, and, and do a lesson and maybe get the harmonica songbook out and read the tab and see whatever. But it's it's a cool way to sort of keep yourself on track. So a habit tracker, you can find them on online, like a PDF of it. The other fun thing I think I'm going to try to do today, but I haven't really decided yet, um, is I have my walker here, um, at literally right next to me. I have decided that uh, most people name their walker. Um, I decided I'm going to put a whole bunch of different names on here um, of different ultra marathoners and famous runners and famous what they used to call pedestrians, which was a big thing uh, sort of in, during Victorian and Edwardian times. Uh, people basically would just go to these massive tracks to watch people uh, walk hundreds of miles in circles until they passed out. It was like America's pastime before like baseball and all this other stuff. But um, I decided I'm going to pick a whole bunch of ultra marathoners and pedestrians that I've read stories about, and I'm going to stencil their name on here. So I went on the um, interwebs to the Amazons and I got stencils. So I have to, I brought them out here because I was like, I don't know what size will work. This one actually looks like it would work. There's also a smaller one because I don't know like how many names I'm putting on there. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, um, color in some names little by little. So I think today maybe what I'll do is um, look up the correct spellings for all those <laughs> names because I don't, some of them are, are um French names and, and things like that, that I, I know how to say their name, but I don't necessarily spell it. But anyway, um, so I think I'm going to do that. That's sort of a fun thing to do at some point. Um, really trying to hold my shit together. I, I don't want you guys to think that it's all fucking rainbows and unicorns. Um, there are very rough times. Not having family and not having any close friends. It is very, very rough times. And I feel really bad having to sort of rely on my wife constantly. Um, but that's what marriage is. is it's not 50-50. It's 100 and 100. And uh, when you can't give 100, the other person's still giving 100. So I guess it's my turn to not always give 100. But yeah, so habit tracking... I already can mark off. I'm going to mark off my video edits. Um, did that today for 30 minutes. It's done. Um, and now I'm going to go on my little walkie. 
Um, I really want to try to get outside today. Um, but the, the South is just having its moments right now where it's just, it's, I, I saw some other creator had said something along the lines. He's the Southern guy, he's a comedian. And he said something like, uh, the South is, is getting ready to bake us for summer because they, uh, they seasoned us with pollen and they put us back in the fridge. Cause it's just, it's just a, a abnormally cold here right now. Um, like the last night, I think it was in the twenties which is just absolute bullshit. Um, so I'm sort of waiting for it to warm up. I think what I might really do is I might just go and fetch the mail because I have to go down to the elevator, take the elevator down, walk a few steps to the mailbox, get that, walk back up. That might be one of my things I do today. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna wait until uh, my wife is sort of out of sessions um, so she can come with me. Uh, plus, I haven't figured out how to put on my socks yet. I do have the sock puller upper thingy, but I think I only used it once, so I got to figure that out. I'm putting on shoes. I haven't had shoes on since the surgery, so um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so you know, stay safe. You know, stay out of trouble or don't get caught. Um, and I will see you all later. Take care.